to you. He go give it to you. X go give it to you. He go give it to you. What's up YouTube, Demixer Day here to talk about my quick review on Deadpool giving the positive negatives and my overall thoughts on the movie. Starting with the positive, this movie probably has one of the best opening credit scenes of all time. Just It doesn't even name the, the actual cast, like they, they, they describe the actual cast, like Ryan Reynolds is the hot guy and uh, the girl that plays Vanessa is the really hot girl and then you can get the director's a douchebag or the studio's a douchebag, the writers are like the heroes of the movie, it's just fantastic you should definitely one of the best opening credit scenes definitely have me laughing for sure and deadpool is deadpool in this movie like i'm serious like he's not some he's not altered in any way this is straight up deadpool if you know deadpool from the comics this is the exact same guy it's just fantastic no x-men origins wolverine bullshit in this movie at all I'm sure there's gonna be references here and there but this is straight up deadpool which is just fantastic two thumbs up for me and it's got that hard R, like there's violence, it's brutal, strong language, might be offensive for some people, it's definitely got that dirty humor in there, which is fantastic, I like, I like that type of humor, it's really great, it blends well with the movie, and they really take advantage of this R rating, which Deadpool should be rated R, I mean, that's just who the character is, honestly, if you take that away from him, it's like... He's not really Deadpool, you know? And the fourth wall, the way they break the fourth wall is just fantastic. Not only Deadpool, but the other characters as well. Like, they're just minor, though. It's mainly Deadpool that's breaking the fourth wall, but the other characters do it as well with TJ Miller saying, like, oh, this guy's probably going to move the plot forward and stuff like that. So it's really cool having those other characters break the fourth wall. But hopefully they don't do it too much in future movies, but this is great. Great touch. Uh, the humor is executed through language through violence through body language all that stuff you know subtle humor it's just all fantastic throughout the movie definitely one of the funniest films i've ever watched honestly even even though it's a superhero movie it's still really entertaining where the humor it, it really strikes uh, deadpool and vanessa relationship is actually quite compelling i didn't think you know deadpool should have had a love of interest in his movie but it actually works i actually cared about the characters the, their relationship because they're, they're two fucked up people and they blend well together which is not something I usually say you know I really did enjoy this relationship between Deadpool and Vanessa I don't know how it's going to work in future films but we'll have to wait and see and, and I think Deadpool ties in great with the X-Men universe it takes place present day so we don't know like really what's going on he Deadpool addresses like the timeline issue and whatnot which is really cool and the, the addition of Colossus and Megasonic Teenage Warhead is also great you know Colossus is that is that opposite of Deadpool? That that's what makes them so great with one another. And make us on Teenage Warrior. It's just a cool character to introduce. So I really did enjoy that. Uh, this, it also has a great soundtrack. Not gonna lie, I do enjoy most of the music that's been playing throughout Deadpool. Definitely blends well with his style. And the the end credit scene definitely is a huge homage to Ferris Bueller. And it teases Deadpool two. Deadpool two spoilers. They're gonna introduce Cable, which is fantastic in my book. And the only negative I have with this movie. Is that you know it's a bit straightforward plots and the villains are good though the villains are not that bad at all I mean they're you could say they're basic generic villains but they they play their roles well so they're not really they don't bring me out of the movie I think this is a film you must see this is a superhero film you must see it's definitely doesn't take itself seriously seriously at all my dad enjoyed it my dad and his girlfriend enjoyed it like it's just a, it, this guy thinking it's, it's not gonna be like a perfect film for everybody but I mean, I think you'll go out, if you go out and see this movie, you'll have a smile on your face somewhere throughout the movie. So I'm looking forward to more Deadpool in the future when it comes to this new X-Men universe. And hopefully he pops up in other X-Men movies, not just his own standalone films, because this is a great character to have, you know, just for huge comic relief if we're in another big Temple X-Men movie. So let me just in the comments down below about Deadpool. Did you enjoy the film? I definitely think this is definitely going to be one of the best films of 2016. It's definitely in my top 10 superhero films of all time already, so I can't wait for the sequel. And like, subscribe, more content on Deadpool and other films in general. I'm Demolex. I'll see you in the future.